Ice cream man, my favorite person. I'll take a fudge sip. Oh, oh, me too. No, Fudgy. me whoa, first. Whoa, whoa. Me right first. Right out of the gate, I need you guys to take the energy down, like, 90%. Why? All day long, with the kids and the excitement. I'm ready to blow my brains out in here. What? Why are you so grouchy? You got the dream job. Here's the thing, Rambo. Rambo? What? Life is a lot like ice cream. It starts out sweet, but then it gets sticky. Oh. And then you die. Wow. This is the worst ice cream man banter I ever heard. What did you guys want? I'm not even in the mood for this anymore. Who's a fudgicle? Ice cream related item. I'm not following. What do you want to buy? You want to buy some fudgicles? Brother, we buy the whole truck. Oh. Look at it. That is the ultimate ice cream related item, isn't it? Ah, uh, great. More kids looking for a sugar high. We have a proposal. You sitting down? Do I look like I'm, I'm standing in a fucking truck? I'm not sitting down. What's your proposal? In general, we've got some funds that need, we need to get off the books. We got six grand. Hmm. You clearly hate this job and are very disgruntled. Oh, uh, very perceptive. The truck that is now yours will become ours. I know you're thinking. Done. Done. Wow. That was a little easier than I thought. Done. Whoa. Anything to get out. I'll sell it to little kids. I don't give a fuck. I mean, you still got to drive it, though. We don't have any licenses yet. I love yet. it. It's a deal. This is great. Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'll go call Geico and write up the bill of sale. Nice. You stay here with the truck. Can I leave you in charge for a minute? I'll leave myself in charge. I'm kind of the boss, but sure. Okay, if that makes you feel uh good. The best two days of an ice cream truck owner's life, the day you buy it and the day you sell it. Uh, excuse me. Hi. We've been waiting for 10 minutes, I'd say. L listen, Toots, I'm on a smoke break. Did you just call me Toots? I want to speak to the manager. Who do I call? He's right here. Shh, shh, shh. The manager's in the truck? No. The manager and owner. Shut up. Tom, stop hiding. Tom? These ladies want to file a complaint. Tom, Tom, is that you? Oh, hey, yeah, I'm in here. I thought you had no money. Wait, now, now your family owns an ice cream truck? Drive, drive, drive. Drive or you're fired. All right, here we go. Bye, Tom. Oh my God, this is not good. All right, let me think. Think, Tom, think, boss. What would Nelson do? What would Nelson do? You know what, here it is. If there's no truck, I can deny it all. Executive decision, we gotta sink it. You sure about that? I see literally no options. We need to submerge the truck in the river. What do you think, you like that idea? Whatever you want, man, it's your show. So it's a good idea. I love it. All right, I feel like it's a unanimous decision. Two to zero. Nelson's not here, all right, we got the votes. Oh, beloved truck, thank you for the good times you've given to the children. Over many summers of yesteryear and days of yore, you've caused much, much happiness. But also much sorrow and pain. You've also caused much sorrow and pain for many people. Great pain. You've really ruined many lives. Soul-searing pain. And uh, on that note, we bid you farewell. Preach. <sighs> wow. You're officially a man now. Thank you. You sank your first ice cream truck. Tom, what the hell are you doing? What am I doing? We sank the truck. I left you in charge for one hour. Listen, we had no choice. No choice. No options whatsoever. My mom was going to find out. I, I pulled the trigger. I said, we got we to sink it. We could have just signed over the title, you know, written up a bill of sale. Yeah. I didn't think of that. We could have just hit the truck for a few months and filed an insurance claim. Those are all good ideas. So many options. Oh, man, maybe I'm not leadership material after all. This is a... You think? Not a good debut. Okay, dudes, you owe me 5000 for the truck, 800 for inventory, and 200 for miscellaneous expenses. All right, pay the man. Um, about that, the GoFundMe is in my dad account. I just knew the password. Come again? I have no way to get you the actual funds. <sighs> All right, this is the last time I go into business with two 10-year-olds. I don't even know why you did it in the first place. It was surprising how quickly you agreed. When he said done, I was like, oh, oh, we really doing this. Yeah, that caught me off guard, too.